my wisher was on when you were Hey guys, Steve here. I went to Panic City a while back for an old friend's birthday, and I wanted to give my opinion. Okay, reenact it. My camera's on now. I'll go through a list of pros and cons, give you my opinion, and then let you make your own decision. First, the pros. There were a lot of people there. This is only about half the people that were there that day. There was a uh, 17 and older group that I was in, and a 16 and under group. So there was enough action most of the time to keep the games interesting. I also liked the staging area. It was bright, clean, and there was plenty of places to put your gear. Even if it was a little small, it worked. The paint was also decently priced, which was good, but we went on a discounted paint day. Usually, it, it, it's slightly more expensive than other fields nearby. 200 for 2000 I like when fields let you fill your own air, which this one does. <laughs> we were over there. Uh, I've been paintballing for years, and I always find it annoying when I'm forced to hand over my tank to a ref to fill it. I know how to fill my own tank, but I don't need you to do it for me. Uh, the buildings also had two levels, which would have been fun to play on more had I gotten a chance. If uh, I do end up going back, I'm probably going to try and get up on the second floor of those buildings. Yeah, we need to. We need more to come often to have a better view of what's up there. Okay. Now, for the cons. Um, I found the lighting on the field was a little dim. You can see here the middle part's pretty well lit, but they only use the lights on the ceiling of the warehouse. And this causes really dark spots on the, on the first floor of the buildings and around some of the boxes. Paint is also really hard. Uh, I don't know if this is just because it was field grade paint or if it was old paint that they were trying to get rid of by marking down the price, but it friggin' hurt. Watch the right! Up Watch the right! A long time. Uh, the field felt a little cramped as well. Uh, I normally like smaller fields because I find they play faster and more dynamic and there's more action never get a lull on a small field. But there seems to be too much stuff on the left. crammed on the field. On which the left. made it hard to get a good angle on any of the opposing players. And getting an across the field shot was just impossible. We uh, actually ended up playing a game they called Headquarters, which you're watching now, that just ended up being a shit show. Because the spawn point for each team was a pylon on either end of the field. That also happened to be the opposition's objective. This led to confusion amongst most of the players and my team getting stuck behind our respawn because we, the other team had half the had most of the field. And the uh, opposing team wasn't able to advance to get the objective. It ended up being a draw. On the left. On the left. I pers I think that was a mistake on the ref's part. I personally, when I ref, either set a time limit yeah, or you broke, point you broke. You gotta go the point of the game at which the respawns will end. Uh, just to avoid these situations. So, summary. No, no. Would I go, go back? Push up. Try and get Maybe. this? Uh, I tend to not like indoor fields. Person, uh, I just find they're dirtier, they're darker. It's I've, if I had a choice between an indoor field and an outdoor field, I'd go outdoor 100% of the time, even He's if it, it was midwinter. Oh, armband, armband. Uh, unfortunately for me, most of the fields around here close their doors during the winter, so I'm kind of limited. Uh, so if I was looking to scratch the paintball itch midwinter, I might be willing to take another trip out to Paintball City. But I'm just not going out of my way. I uh, I happen to be lucky enough most of the year to have plenty of other oh. options nearby that Fuck, uh, stop shooting. Fuck. that I can choose. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for. Uh, watching don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button and like this video and uh, spread the word about uh, the channel if you like it